just basically wanted to show you guys some of the uh, work that's involved when it comes to turbo selection. I went and purchased a uh, GT35R with a uh, exhaust turbine of uh, 0.82 and uh, I realized it's a little bit big for my application. And Here's some of the math that I've been doing. <laughs> I'm not going to go into any detail. You can find this information. I'll show you a couple books here. But uh, there's actually quite a bit involved when it comes to turbo selection, uh, where you live, your altitude, the air density, temperature, pressure drops, and you know caused by intercooler and intake and how much your engine actually needs, the displacement. There's a lot of uh, math involved to it. Pretty much, I figured out uh, you know E85 seems to work good with the turbo for what I'm looking for. Uh, gas, not so much it wants to surge. This is just hypothetical. I mean, the real world is always going to be different, but uh, 400 horsepower might be doable with this turbo, but um, with this exhaust turbine, it might uh, take a little while to get it to spool. Anyway, books, first of all, really good book right here. This is a turbocharging performance handbook from Motorworks Workshop. Um, great book. Yeah, lots of information in there when it comes to the actual math involved. Um, besides all this, you can you can find out information on the internet, like Garrett's website will have uh, helpers and whatnot that can work with the math that's in this book to help you give an idea of how to map your compressor and whatnot. Beyond this, I haven't even started this one yet. Uh, being I like this book so much, I went and actually bought another one, uh, How to Tune and Modify Engine Management Systems. This is another book, lots of math involved, lots of theory. Um, these are pretty advanced. I mean, for somebody like myself, I have not gone post-secondary school, math or anything like that, and it really does help. So there's uh, two books that are really decent. Here's another one, too, I thought I might mention. I've never seen this anywhere else. This is a uh, engine repair um, for the head assembly and valve gear. It's an older book. Um, <laughs> I think it was a textbook for some school. I don't know how my uh, my father acquired it, but uh, this goes into a lot of detail about uh, your head, head work. Um, it's basically a textbook for people that uh, rebuild heads, essentially. If you want to start from nothing, this is the type of book for you. It has a lot of math involved in it as well. Um, you know, understanding your, your cams, degreeing them is actually in here too. It's a pretty advanced book. It goes into a lot of detail. Um, find out who it's made by. Glencore, Bennett, and McKnight. Maybe that's a publisher. There's a publisher. Bark House. Never heard of them. Anyway, good book. I acquired it through my father. Definitely recommend it. Helps a lot when uh, it comes to doing math and figuring all this junk out. But uh, that's just a heads up of what I've been doing the last few days.